Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so today, as you guys can tell from the title, your girl went to TJ Maxx and she got some makeup. But honestly, I've been having this makeup here for a minute, but my ass has been telling myself I cannot go back to TJ Maxx and spend money like this. Not on makeup. And if you guys have been a part of my channel for a while, then you guys know I hadn't been buying makeup because I would have been showing you guys in a while. Then everybody, like a couple of months ago, started hyping up TJ Maxx and how she's that girl again and how she has all this makeup. And so your girl had to go. And when I went, I went again and again and again and again and again. And <clears throat> you guys know I was doing the most. So... Yeah, shout out to my Juicy Couture bags right back there. You guys can see them, the ones I just hauled. And if you haven't seen my latest Juicy Couture video, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Click the link. I'll leave it in the cards, actually, because I want you to stay on this video. It's important. Okay, so let me go ahead and start off with some of the makeup that I did find. Just in case you guys are wondering, uh, the same lip oil that I was wearing in my last video, I'm wearing again. It's the one from Beauty Creations in the flavor Lime, even though it don't make sense. Make it make sense, because that's lemons. And then my lashes today, um, i just been feeling like they're really stunning. And I actually got these from my niece. These are nameless. She bought them, I think, like on Amazon or somewhere like that. And then she was reselling them, trying to make some little side money. And, you know, her Thea had to support her. So shout out to Valerie. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you like makeup because that's what we're here for today, girl. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the first item. It's probably like the least climactic item. So that's where we're going to start. And I, I know what you are already going to say about this. You're going to be like, Vanessa, but why are we serving Christmas? And it's like summer, girl. I don't know, but uh, Marshall's had this. Not too long ago, and I felt like I needed it. It's by the I Heart Revolution, and it's the Elf. Now, typically I wouldn't have bought this because, uh, I mean, I like Elf, but I'm not like a ride or died for Elf, first of all. Second of all, like, like, like you guys already know, we're going into summer and this is serving Christmas, but take a look at this. It is the front of his little outfit. It comes out like this, guys. And I thought this was the cutest, neatest little thing ever. I picked it up for $7.99, but check this out. First of all, it's it has a magnetic clasp. It opens up. And this is the first palette. Notice I said first palette because this is on a swivel. So the first one does have the safety seal. The ones underneath it do not. This one does look like it's been swatched, but girl, you already know me. I'll spray that. This one is so pretty. Look at this. I don't know if the lighting will do it justice. Look at that red. Look at that pink. Look at those glitters. And then we got a nice nude palette. I mean, despite it being out of packaging, if I ever want to go out of town for an extended period of time, one palette. Four and one actually I got it covered. I got it covered. So I thought the colors were really pretty and they weren't serving Christmas. Sorry Um, I thought the colors were really pretty and that that it wasn't serving Christmas Um, So maybe a couple of these items are from Marshall's but I'll say most of them are for TJ from TJ Maxx And if you're like most of us, we just group them together. They're the same store so, again, I got this for $7.99. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you're still watching this video and you like what you see, girl, make sure you like this video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you fuck with me. Alright, the next item. You guys are going to be like, this is when you know you have a shopping addiction, a shopping issue. It's not your credit card statement. It's not your bank account. It's not your boyfriend telling you, like, you went shopping again. It's not your baby's not having diapers. Just kidding. I don't got no babies, but, you know. Um, but this is when you know you have an issue. Because I go to these stores so frequently, like... Bitch, I went and bought this BH Cosmetic Weekend Vibes Belgium Waffles palette. For the second time after 
here had bought this BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffles Weekend Vibes palette. So what I didn't know was that I had already purchased this and it was in a bag sitting here waiting to be hauled and my bitch ass went and bought another one. Which by the way, I don't know if you guys can tell, I think you can if I move my hair. I am actually wearing a shirt even though it looks like I'm a little naked. Um, so I bought both of these. These were only $3.99, so you know what that means. Even though I just got done doing a giveaway for my 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do another one, so, and this is gonna be part of it. So you guys can tell I like makeup. One of them's for you, one of them's for me. Um, but it's the Belgian Waffles, and I just like their little weekend vibes. I got their brush set, I got a blush palette, I got a few things from their weekend vibes collection. I know some people have had their Mimosa eyeshadow palette. I don't really fuck with it like that, so I don't have it. But I love me a good highlighter, even if it's not the best. I mean, I haven't tried their highlighters. I have only tried some of their other products. It does have the safety seal on it, so these have not been tampered with. And it's taped down, so you guys also are not going to see them today, so. Um. There you go. That might be better lighting for them. How pretty are these? Okay, so again, like I said, I got two of those for $3.99. <clears throat> the next item. I know you guys have been seeing everybody and their mama haul this, but your girl's about to haul it again, so one more ain't gonna hurt you. But it's the KVD eyeshadow palette serving i didn't know i needed this i didn't know that i wanted this until i saw everybody hauling this and i was just like maybe there's something i'm missing maybe there's something that i should be loving about it so i went ahead and hauled it i picked this up for 14.99 and it's the moon garden eyeshadow palette for kvd this is what it looks like and i will just go ahead and a little disclaimer right here guys i have to stop going to tj maxx or stopping in their makeup section because i was spending way too much money there and i hadn't even been using any of the products that i ha bought because i was saving them to show you so make it make sense it wasn't making sense the math wasn't mathing it wasn't adding up so I had to take like a quick break. But that being said, no regrets about this palette. Very cute packaging, take a look, stunning. Stunning, right? You open it up. These are even more beautiful than you can imagine. So let's take a look. Let's see if this is going to focus for us. Come on, baby. There we go. Take a look at those eyeshadows. Those glittery eyeshadows, like, they low-key are, like, a beautiful part of this palette. And then that purple, baby. So, I have not tried any of KVD's eyeshadows before, so this will be a first for me. When I do try it out, I guess I'll have to let you guys know. And because I waited till everybody was, like, hauling this, everyone and their mothers, then I did not find one with a clear, like, safety seal. But it did appear not to be tampered with or touched, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now... If you thought this haul was going to have anything other than makeup, then you're pretty wrong. Most of it's makeup. I think I have like two items that are not makeup, so if you're holding out for that girl, you're going to be holding your breath for a while. That being said, if you haven't already picked up a snack, haven't already taken off your shoes, relaxed, served yourself some iced coffee, because that's my thing, um, then go ahead and pause the video and do that. And now I'll wait. That was the ugliest fucking shit I've ever done, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm glad you're back with your coffee. So the next item, those of you who are waiting for a non-makeup item, it's still kind of a makeup item. You guys may have seen Alexis Jada haul this. Girl, she's the reason why I went to Marshalls. I wanted to get the peach headband just like she did. I picked this up for $4.99 at Marshalls. One of the only things you guys are gonna see that are non-makeup, but are still makeup related or skincare related. How cute is that? If you guys know me, then you know your girl got a peach. And you guys know your girl had to get a peach. Fitting. <laughs> All right, 
enough about that. Moving on to the next item. All right, so you guys know, actually let me go ahead and grab that real quick. You guys know that I got this palette not too long ago, maybe in my last TJ Maxx makeup haul. I got it for $16.99. Well, a while after that, I was at the store and guess what I found? I found the Morphe X Night Nyan Fierce Fairy Tale Nearly Nude uh, Lipstick Trio. Sorry, I gotta write that. I can't write it backwards. So, Lipstick Trio. I got this for $7.99 at Marshall. So, that. The makeup palette I found at TJ Maxx. And if you guys remember, I didn't show you guys right now, but I had the uh, color sticks, kind of like lip liners or whatever the hell you want to use them for. Sticks. I got those and they were both from TJ Maxx. This was at Marshall's. So that just goes to show you that each store, even though they're like the same, has a little bit of variance. Because I had not seen these at TJ Maxx. I got these for $7.99 against my better judgment because your bitch does not wear lipstick like that. But I wanted them. You know, the whole thing about wanting the entire collection. So I'm just going to show you one at a time what they are. So the first one I got is in the shade Gia. Am I reading that right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Gia, I guess, and she's a red-brown color, a brownish-red color, I guess going with the almost nude. The next color I got in Tao, Tao. Guys, I might be butchering these names, but I don't know what color which these are in. Some fierce fairy tale, I guess. Um, but maybe I'll spell them out there for you. So if you have a better pronunciation, you can let me know. This looks like a straight up orange color. Again, I bought these a while back. I don't know why I bought them. I think for the sake of having the entire collection. Because right now these colors are not speaking to me. Oh, this one's cute. This one's in Vera. That one's pretty cute. I could wear that. So those are the three lipsticks that I got from the Morphe X Nyan Fairy Fierce Fairy Tale Collection. Um, cute. Okay, the next item I got were some more. Morphe X Pony Constellation Sky Lip Glee Trio. Now, I had seen these a couple of times and I didn't really feel like I needed them until there was nothing else to buy one day and your shopping addicted girl said, maybe today, maybe they're speaking to me today. So I picked these up at Marshall's for $4.99, another Morphe collab. And you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I thought these were cute when I opened them up to check them. So this is the Morphe Pony and Sky Whispers, at least it's a name I can pronounce. They each have a little bit of glitter in them, so I thought that was really cute and would look cute uh, over something else. And this just speaks to like the little fantasy in each of us girls. Like we like pretty pastel things, we like girly things, we like ponies and rainbows. And I don't know who Pony is, but I just thought of My Little Pony and I was sold. All right. Then we have like a peaches, pe peachy pink one, again with like glitter in them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are everything. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but the glitter is so stunning, so cute. You guys let me know if you can see it. Let me know if you own these, if you tried them, if you saw them and skipped on them. And then, oh, that was in the shade, what shade was that? Moonchild. Sorry, the, I mean, I'm not that old, but some of these words are so tiny on these products. And then we got a purple one, it's in Crescent Dreams. Again, with the glitter. Stunning. Let me know if you guys can see it. It's so cute. Love it for me. 
So I thought that was really cute and they were only $4.99. So worst case scenario, I don't end up liking them. But like I said, $4.99, you really can't beat that. Okay. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of high quality for a minute. So my voice is gonna change. No, I'm just kidding. But I got myself some MAC powder blush. I only have like one other MAC powder blushes. And I remember like back in the day, like it was the biggest thing to have MAC products. And my poor ass little bitch self did not have money for MAC. So I only had one. And now I got another. It's in the shade Melba. I thought it was really a pretty color, like that I would wear. Let me just open it. Hopefully something crazy don't happen like this shit fall out. But that's the color. How pretty is that? I got this from TJ Maxx for $12.99. I know you guys have been seeing that they've been having some of their foundation products. I think I've even seen some of their like mascaras. Unfortunately, like with mascaras, number one, I wear lashes like 99, 98% of the time. Um, so I really don't have like a favorite mascara or a mascara that I have to live with. I just coat my lashes and throw some other lashes on top of my lashes. That and like mascara from TJ Maxx and stuff, unless it's like in a plastic package, I'm really iffy about it. Like I'm iffy about their lipstick products when I can't tell if they're new or not. So I'm definitely gonna be iffy on some eye stuff cause I ain't trying to get an eye infection. That's just me being real. So I haven't tried any of the mascaras. After going on that tangent, we got another MAC product this MAC product is a highlighter I think I only have one other MAC highlighter to be honest I picked this up for $16.99 and this is in whisper of guilt guilt so this is what it looks like let me show you right outside the package of course it has like a little pattern on it love that has a little button that you press and this is her Let's see if it'll focus there you go so so cute let me swatch it for you guys and let this focus how pretty is that? That's the first time I swatched it. Literally, I bought this by appearances alone and the name alone because it was MAC. So very, very pretty. Love that for me. <clears throat> All right. We're about halfway done. So if you still didn't go get a coffee, girl, you got to go pee. Go do that real quick. All right, you guys know you saw everybody and their mothers buying this. I finally gave in and bought it. And by the time I decided to buy it, I had to like scrounge for like products that weren't messed up because they had been out for a while because people had been messing with them for a while. But here we go. I got a Lion King collection. I didn't get the big uh, Timon and Pumbaa or the big uh, eyeshadow palette. I did see it. But I couldn't say yes to it because there were so many other things that I wanted to buy. So I bought, actually I accidentally ripped the sticker off when I was trying to take up the security tag. But I want to say this was either $3.99 or, I'm sorry, $4.99 or $5.99. And you can see like a security tag was over his face because it's kind of like black and not all gold. Oh, it says right here. Oh, both of these are highlighters and a shadow palette. So let me show you these highlighters. I got the King of the Jungle and Heart of a Lioness. So I got Simba and Nala. Let me go ahead and show you. If you try to look for these now, you'll probably find them, but the condition is, is bad and they might be in the clearance aisle. So this is supposedly a highlighter. It does look like a, oh, that's taped down. Let me just untape it for a second. I'm just gonna, it's supposed to be a highlighter. This is by Makeup Revolution. It does look like a blush. I'm gonna put it right here next to our MAC highlighter. 
Okay, so it does highlight. It's pinky though. That's the Heart of a Lioness for $3.99. Up next, I got the King of the Jungle. And this is also a highlighter. Let me make sure you guys can see it. And this looks more like a bronzer. Super cute. Look, it's baby Simba. Let me see if I can show you guys. At least like with their safety seals, they're kind of like taped down. I like that. But not like with a piece of tape. Like the actual plastic has a little bit of sticky on the edge. I like that. All right, so there it is one more time. There it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for us. And then I think I'm gonna put it right next to the Nala one or maybe on the other side of the Mac one. I'll do it on the other side of the Mac one. So King of the Jungle, Heart of a Lioness. Those are pretty, pretty actually for $3.99. They are nice little swatches. And then I have the eyeshadow palette. I don't know that I'm gonna swatch this, but I am gonna show you it. And again, we have the plastic seal. I just think it's so cool that they have like sticky on part of it. So this is what the palette looks like. So stunning. I love pinks and I have been known to do a sunset eye from time to time. So I could not let this one go because I know that I will use it at least like once. So that sounds bad, but I have so many makeup products in my collection. I want to say this was either $4.99 or $5.99 when I took the safety seal off or the security alarm, which one of my TJ Maxx's, they went gun ho on that, which I get it. So nobody like tampers with it and they ensure that we get a product that is good. Um, so I don't remember how much it was. I want to say $5.99 though. So pretty. All right, so your girl got another collection and we're just getting good, girl. It just gets better going on out from here, so buckle up. So I got the I Heart Revolution, I got the Looney Tunes collection, I got Bugs, I got Lola, and I got Tweety. These all seem to have their safety still on, so I'll be right back. Let me try to take this off. Okay, so I'm back. I took the uh, safety things off, guys. This is what I'm talking about by safety things. They have like the little metal thing on them. Sorry, it has like hair on it. But they have like the little metal thing on them so that they're not getting stolen or messed with, I guess. So, yeah. So the first one I got was the I Heart Revolution, the Lola Bunny palette, and it, does it have a name? It don't. I don't see a name. But it is a highlighter palette, or it says face palette. How cute. Ooh. Proud to be me is what it says for the mirror. These are the shimmers. How pretty is that? Let's go ahead and swatch a couple since we're here. Very, very glittery. Look at that. Very glittery. All right, so we're going to swatch these. Very pretty colors. That's the first time, like I told you, that I opened it. Let's move my sleeve down. We're going to go with two colors from the Lola Bunny palette. That's the first one. And that's the second one. Here, I got some more on there. The pink one doesn't show as much, but that dark orange one does. Let me get some more pink, just in case I didn't do it justice. There's a lot of fallout, I will say that, on them. I don't know if it's like a first layer thing or what. Okay, so we're just going to do it right here. Yeah, so you can see the pink, you can see the gold. So, so pretty. Then I got a Tweety Bird palette. And 
then this one I don't think it has a name either. It just says a shadow palette and it is the Tweety Bird one. So this is what it looks like. Again, this one comes with a mirror too, super cute. Some of the repeat colors kind of like from the Lion King, but this is really cute. A cute little natural neutral pink. Again, the shadow, the shadows I'm not going to swatch with for you, but all of these little Makeup Revolution palettes were only $4.99. I think that's a pretty good deal, especially if you don't have a very big makeup collection or you're like me, you just wanted to buy some more. You can afford to buy multiple of them because they're so affordable. And then we have the Bugs Bunny one. Again, this one has the mirror, what's up doc? And then these are the shadows. Honestly, I wasn't like super sold out on this palette per se. I think I passed it up at least more than once. Again, if you try to look for these now, they might be in bad condition. By the time I went for the Bugs one, it was skim. Like, look, the package is even ripped, but it was good on the inside. And one of the reasons why I even picked it up is because I wanted the matching pair for the Lola Bunny. I wanted Bugs and Lola. And then the Tweety Bird, I just couldn't give up. They also had like Sylvester and Taz, but I was just like, mm, I'm okay without them. So the next one's kind of like an oddball. I got the Physicians Formula. It's like a bronzer. You guys know that I love their broader, uh, butter bronzer. So I picked this bread and butter bronzer. I actually don't know if this is going to be too dark for me, but I did pick it up with the hopes of me loving it as much as I love their sister bronzer. I picked this up for $5.99. You guys know those other bronzers are te like... $12, $14. This actually looks a little dark for me. So I don't know in hindsight. I think I just couldn't like let it not, let it stay there and me not know for $5.99 when I pay like $14 for the regular, which I'm all out of and I need. The next Audubon is going to be this uh, Morphe lip gloss. You guys saw me haul a different lippy from them before. This is a very similar color, but this is in the color Mercury. I'm not going to open it up, but I am going to show you just the color. I actually had been using their other one that I hauled, which a fun fact, I thought both of these were like liquid lipsticks until I hauled them. And then I was like, just kidding. They're not liquid lipsticks. They're lip glosses. So Love that, got that in Mercury. They still have been having some Morphe stuff, so go out and look for that if you want. Okay, we, we still got quite a bit of ways to go, so here we go. I got one, not one, but two <laughs> of the Too Faced Chocolate Souffle. Oh, Soleil, sorry, Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. And one says the Healthy Glow Bronzer and one's just the Matte Bronzer. One of them has the new packaging, one of them has the old packaging. This one just says matte, so I don't know if there's just one color, but this just says matte. And this one's a Caramel Cocoa, which I kind of thought was probably too dark for me, but I got it anyways. Because look at this package. Look how pretty this package is. And I got both of these at the same damn time for $16.99. And then this has the old packaging. It is just the brown packaging. So let me show you. I actually used this one today. I felt like it's kind of light, but oddly enough, it worked with my makeup today. Very, very light, durable, compact, heavy duty plastic. Love to see it. And then this one, of course, is the baby. I got it in baby pink, love, love, love. And then this is the caramel cocoa. Definitely probably looks too dark for me, but I could not leave it. Natural chocolate. I think it'll look good like in the summer as a bronzer. We will see It was just too pretty that I could not leave it and I really wanted one 
So I'm hoping that I can work it out. Blend, 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 girl. Make that shit work. Cause I really wanted it. <clears throat> You guys tired of seeing makeup? Cause we got a little bit more and things are getting good. Okay, so I have a few more Audubon's and you guys already know that I'm saving the Mama Jamba for the very end. So the best is gonna be at the end. So I got a uh, Cocoa Pebbles by I Heart Revolution lip gloss. I didn't even know this was a collection until I saw it at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And you know your girl had to get it. Look at that nude lip gloss. Like, tell me, tell me you would have left it behind. Tell me you would have left it behind. You would not have left this behind for $3.99. Super cute. Of course, we're not gonna be swatching any of those lippies today. And actually, I'm a fan of just saving them until I'm gonna use them because I have so many lip products that they're gonna go bad before I actually use them and I don't want that to happen just because I opened it. Not saying that I didn't open it at the store, but girl, I'm just trying to save it. <laughs> I'm just trying to save it. All right, so the next two items are part of another collection. The only two items from this collection that I found, I found these at two different times. I got the Blossom eyeshadow palette and the Mojo Jojo highlighter palette. So let's take a look. Um, if you guys ever saw uh, Powerpuff Girls, comment down below. Bubbles was my girl, she was my girl. And my sister Janie, she was Buttercup. And then even though Angelica really didn't play with us like that, she was Blossom, she just didn't know it. The leader of the pack. Okay, so we got Blossom again. Lot oh, how cute. Look, this little plastic thing was on there for Powerpuff Girl, so cute. Okay, so these are the colors for the eyeshadow palette. Again, very similar to the Lion King one, similar to the Tweety one, but your girl had to have it. I thought it was so cute. Powerpuff Girls are so like my childhood. Like I grew up watching that on Cartoon Network. The intervals of time where we did have cable because that was not all the time. But when we did have cable, when we were somewhere that had cable, a girl was watching Cartoon Network. Um, and then I got the Mojo Jojo face palette or highlighter palette, super cute. Oh, I dropped it. Super cute. Again, it has that little plastic that goes on top that says Powerpuff Girls. And then this is what the face palette looks like. <gasps> Stunning. Let's just grab one of these. I feel like the quality, I'll grab two. The quality is probably similar to the other Makeup Revolution stuff that we just watched for, what was it? What was it, the Lola Bunny or the Simba stuff? So we're gonna go right in. This is the gold one from Mojo Jojo. Boom, girl! What you think Mojo Jojo be playing? So I grabbed two of them. Very nice. I think the Simba ones and the Mojo Jojo ones swatch better than the Lola Bunny ones, or at least the Lola Bunny pink one. But they're all pretty cute for the price point. I don't think I told you. Both of the Powerpuff Girl stuff was $4.99. All right, we're getting up there. We're getting close to the end. We're talking about, I don't know how many items we got left, but I have one more item that's not a makeup item that I wanted to show you. It kinda is, it's makeup erasers. Erase all makeup with just water seven day set. So I have one makeup eraser, it's like a long one that I got in BoxyCharm, and I had seen these seven day sets, but I was not trying to pay the seven day set price, girl. But I found these for $19.99. It says the retail, suggested retail price is 18, or $18, and I paid $9.99. I find that hard to believe, because these hoes are expensive, but nonetheless, let me show you. I saw it randomly hanging by like the headband stuff, where the, you guys know, these headbands. These, try not to touch this because it's white and I got makeup all over everything. Um, so it was hanging in that area, just, you know, hanging out on the hook. Nobody seemed to notice it, but I did. For $10, your girl grabbed it. 
So it comes in a little box like this. How cute is this? I had already seen somebody have bought some similar to this, not the same one, but another seven day set and it was missing some because, you know, people at TJ Maxx can't stay out of the packages and if that's you, girl, you really shouldn't be doing that. I'll save that for another day, but I'm just going to say, how cute are these? They come with like a little instruction manual and it came with seven of them. I've already counted. So, oh yeah, okay, so it came with a blue one, a pink one, just dropped one, a yellow one, a purple one, a green one, that's like a hunter green, I don't know if it's doing it justice, there you go, and a baby blue, and then, and then the one I dropped was orange. But how cute are these? They have like the little band where you can just be like washing your face with a little bit of water. I kind of think I like this idea better than just one big one because the one big one you would have to wash more frequently versus like me up seven of these, you got seven days and then you got to wash them one time. So I like that idea. And then so cute, they came with this little washing bag where you just throw them in there and throw them in the washer. Love that. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but like this packaging matches this bag. How cute is that? And then the colors in here pretty much match the outside of this as well. And I'm dropping another one. All right. <laughs> okay, we're getting close to the end, kind of. <clears throat> okay, we have about six more items. All right, so you guys saw all the collections I've been hauling. The Lion King one, the Looney Tunes one, the Powerpuff Girl one. What other ha uh, collection have I not hauled yet? Oh, uh, what was that? The Simpsons? Yes, bitch, you're right. That's the one I haven't hauled yet, and that's the one I have right here. So, <laughs> I got the highlighter, which I just thought it was cute you never see like Homer and Marge really like in a little romantic state but girl there they were at TJ Maxx trying to be all lovey-dovey and stuff and I got it and I hadn't tried any of these things out so I was just hoping for the best this is what it looks like so cute and this is supposed to be a highlighter. Oh look, the mirror is a heart. And that's the highlighter. It's Summer of Sunshine. I'm not gonna uh, show you guys that one just because, you know, trying to move through this video, first of all, and then I've already have like highlighter swatched down my arm. So we're not gonna do that. The next item I got was Lisa. So I got the Summer of Love palette by, uh, and it has Lisa on the front. This one I paid $9.99 for and this was like one of the last products that I picked up from their collection because you already know we can't find it all in one sitting. So I was kind of debating, like I really wish this was like $7.99, it would have made my decision easier but I still got it for $9.99. This is what the Lisa Summer of Love palette looks like. It has the heart shaped mirror and these are the shadows. I wouldn't say like, oh my gosh, I'm ooing and awing over this palette, but I wanted it for the collection, so I got it. For what? The collection. All right, moving right along, I got, you know, VV palette for the collection. How cute is this? Homer and Marge when they're like young. I picked this up for $9.99. This one, I was like, yeah. If this is $9.99, I'll pay $9.99. This one, on the other hand, for this should have been $7.99. Why are they trying to play me like that? I mean, they did play me because I bought it, but still. So this one I got for $9.99. I thought it was so cute with both of them on the front. Again, with a huge heart mirror. How cute is that? And then here are the colors. Again, I'm not gonna swatch them, but I am gonna give you a good look aroo. I thought this palette was much more prettier compared to the Lisa palette, but for the collection, I went ahead and got it. Um, I like how some of them have like the little heart 
embossed on it or debossed on it. I don't even know. Juicy Couture says debossed. I've always thought it was embossed. I have no idea, girl. But I picked this up for $9.99. Loving it. Can wait to use it or look at it and admire it and never use it. Whatever I choose to do with my products, girl, mind your business. Just kidding. I know you guys love me. All right. Last two products in the collection. Dun, 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 dun. How cute are these? Wait, can you guys see it? It's hard to see. The pink and the white, that is the actual brush. For a second, it looked like the opposite was. And they're from the Lisa, I guess, collection. Oh, one of them fell out. It's like right there on top of the other. You guys see it? There you can see it fell out of its spot. I picked these up for $3.99. Super excited about these. I picked up not one, but two, because you already know, girl, I picked you up one. So for my next giveaway, I'm already talking about my next giveaway, girl, because it's about to happen. I'm gonna hit a hundred a thousand subscribers sooner rather than later. And when I do, one of these is going into the giveaway for you guys. So if you haven't been sharing my videos, girl, share my videos. If you're watching my videos but you have never subscribed, first of all, who are you? No, but for real, you should subscribe to my channel, share my shit so that I can get a thousand subscribers and we can have another giveaway. All right, we're down to the last two items and they're the Mamba Jambas. So the first one is a Pat McGrath. Woo, you guys saw the Bridgerton stuff. This apparently was from their holiday collection. It's a Pat McGrath highlighter. I picked this up for $19.99 and it's in Venetian nude or Venusian nude. This has similar packaging to the Bridgerton one that I recently did. It does have a plastic seal probably so that the gold doesn't rub off because it's just printed on there. Guys, look at this. How freaking stunning. Ba -dum -bum. This one, I do want to swatch, but I'm so sad because it's going to ruin part of it. I mean, it has to get ruined, but. Can you even see it? Let me get a little bit more. It's because I'm being really stingy with it. That's what it looks like. How pretty is that? That Venu Venusian nude. And that was 19, I was gonna say nine, girl, you wish. It was 1999. All right, so the last one you guys could have guessed it is another Pat McGrath item. It's her eyeshadow palette. You guys can see it has the security tags all over it. I heard this was from her holiday collection. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let me know. Girl, I picked this up for $34.99. What? You're paying $34.99 for a palette at TJ Maxx? Girl. Girl. No, but for real. Um, I like this a whole lot though. I liked it a whole lot. I needed it. I wanted it. Let's take a look. I heard her eyeshadows are to die for. I have yet to use this palette. So as soon as I haul this, uh, at some point I will be using it. Can I just say that this thing is huge? Let me show you guys because something you guys have seen a lot of <coughs> is the Kat Von D little palette. I'm going to show you that. Look how small that is compared to this big ass palette. Something else we can compare to, everybody knows maybe like the size of Too Faced products. Too Faced eyeshadow palette. The natural nudes. Look how little that is. What else could we compare it to? I don't know. I think that's all I'm going to compare it to. Hopefully that gives you size reference. When you open it up, it is magnetic, or at least it felt magnetic. It has a plastic on the mirror. Look at these shadows. 
first of all, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen shadows. We're just gonna zoom in so you can see them. I just saw Alexa Jada's video and she hauled the same palette. And she was talking about how it's so pretty. I think she's already used it. So you guys can check out her video to see what she says about it. But I've never heard anyone speak ill of Pat McGrath as far as quality goes. Prices? Yes, girl. Quality? No, girl. Such a beautiful palette, even though the packaging was ruined because of the sensor, the, the overall packaging itself is stunning. And I'm so happy to finally have something that is not the Bridgerton collection, because then it feels like more like I own something Pat McGrath. So, one more look at the palette. Look at it, love it, breathe it, be it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, girl, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the Big Mama Jamba. That's it. That's the end of my haul. Comment down below what was your favorite product. Comment down, comment down below how much you love makeup. Let me know I'm not the only one. Let me know you're also addicted. Let me know if you have any of these products. Let me know if you like my makeup today. What's good, girl? Alright, until next time, bye!